Hey guys, welcome to the fifth episode of my career here in Rugby League Live 3. Unfortunately, in our last episode there, came up uh, injured in the late minutes of the match there and out for a couple of weeks at least. Come back to find where, yeah, round five now. Not too sure if we won or lost the last couple of games, didn't really have a look, but I know we're below 10th spot on the ladder there. Coming up against the Broncos here. Notice they have a pretty solid under-20 side in real life at least. Also in the game probably a few standout players, Ashley Taylor, Nick Arima, uh, Jordan Drew's pretty good as well. The whole side is just pretty much uh, real good to be honest. Yeah, not too many highlights here as um, maybe after injury, I'm not sure if it's got anything to do with like scripting in the game. It's just maybe after injury your player takes it a bit slower or doesn't try as hard or doesn't get involved too much as an early penalty there, not an early penalty, early error there forces a scrum and scrums are in this game one of the best ways to make meters there if you're the first receiver on the outside of the scrum there if you increase your speed enough or you have a fast enough player it's almost a guaranteed try every time you see there I step past one player but uh, pass back on the inside when ultimately should have held it myself or passed to the outside there on my right and maybe would have come up with the try, I'm not going to blame myself too much there but this close to the line always going to be dangerous as playmaker role there comes in just trying to get an assist here and put someone over to get some points on the board looking to uh, yeah just get back into the game really after our last injury and teammates not helping too much there as they throw yeah just a lazy pass on the ground and calls it a knock on in the end of the day back down close to their line again here fifth tackle yeah just going through the motions in this match just back and forth each of us having a set five tackles and a kick and then running it straight back as I passed to my winger there who I thought was going to back himself and if he did and ran straight to the corner post there he probably would have beaten the one-on-one -on -one there and been able to get the ball down but unselfishly or stupidly of him he decides to pass it back inside for no reason but yeah looking bad here all around as a team not too much is happening as this player here right on half time decides to throw it around and gets intercepted by the player there but then the animation shows our our player there picking it up off the ground and like just phasing through the player there like a ghost just to get the ball back but doesn't matter headed into half time nil all still come back to the start of the match skipping through here yeah as I said just five tackles and a kick and then run it straight back five tackles and a kick not too many highlights and pretty boring match to be played here I thought it would be a bit better as we actually create some space there and once again the winger on our left side there I'm not sure if he's yeah he's all there to be honest all there in the head really as he passes back on the inside there when he was clearly in open space but you know he does whatever he wants I suppose and a bit hard to control the whole team or get a win here when you're only controlling one player and there's 12 other players AI on the field who have a mind of their own as they get kicked there a little grubber thought it would have went a little bit further but didn't and end up making a tackle there after myself as we watch Ashley Taylor actually ends up kicking it on fifth and last into a player or his own teammate just running in front of him yeah just the AI on this game probably the main complaint I have if I had to complain about the game here is just the AI and also some bugs and glitches like the um, the pass from dummy half if you've ever experienced that one it, it was shown in my first episode of this cre uh, creator pro series a pass from dummy half just gets sent to space here and just flies back or into the crowd flies straight out doesn't matter either or yeah as we um, knock on or an error comes up down close to their line there and just wrecks another chance for us to put on some points here drop back for the kick and yeah can't really trust my team at this point so I just decide to hold it for myself here fifth and last a proper a proper kick this time tried to split the two two uh, winger and fullback there but ultimately the wind blows it back to the fullback just running around the park doing too much for my team here as they don't seem to help and yeah straight after the last match this first game back picks up another injury there neck or sorry shoulder bursitis or burstitis whatever the hell it is I'm not a certified doctor but it sounds pretty serious no I'll be out for at least maybe two months maybe but in the three minutes they had left of game time there uh, ends up being 10-6 and we do get man of the match so not that bad 